Hi, I'm Jim McKinney, and I'd like to talk to you about an exciting new application called ArcGIS Pro that we're shipping with the 10.3 release of ArcGIS. Three main things. One, it's modern. Two, it's fast. Three, it's powerful. So what makes ArcGIS Pro modern? Well, the first thing is it supports 2D and 3D for visualization, for editing, for spatial analysis. Incredibly powerful technology that we have there. Um, also, the user interface, it's a ribbon-based interface that's contextually driven. It only shows you the things uh, when they're applicable or when you can use them. That allows us to pack a lot of functionality into the UI, but not clutter things up. Pro's easy to download, install, and update, and it's tightly integrated with ArcGIS Online organizations or organizations that you host uh, on-premise with Portal. Really, it's not all about just the software. It's about your environment and modernizing your desktop environment. Some of you may not be using the latest versions of ArcMap because it's a certified environment or a third-party customization. You can run ArcGIS Pro side-by-side -side with uh, versions of desktop from 9.2 all the way up to 10.3 and beyond. So it's really, we're really excited to be able to modernize your environment with this great new app and still allow you to run uh, whatever version of ArcMap you're on. Second thing is it's fast. What makes ArcGIS Pro fast? Well, the display is awesome. You know, it gives you that real slippery feeling in 2D and 3D, whether you're panning and zooming. We have a brand new graphics engine that supports 2D and 3D, and the app always remains responsive. You can have multiple maps open, multiple tables open, be executing multiple tools. The app doesn't block you or make you wait. It allows you to be more productive. So uh, it's a 64-bit multi-threaded application. That's why we can do this. Um, ArcGIS Pro leverages big memory address spaces, graphics cards, multiple CPUs, you know, really taking advantage of your hardware, and also running great in virtual environments and uh, virtual desktop environments with new shared GPU cards. Last thing is Pro is powerful, and part of the power is actually the, symbol the simplicity of Pro. Uh, to get started using your existing data, uh, modeling your complex workflows, making great maps, all you have to do is import your, your map scene or globe documents, your maps, your layouts, your symbology, your geoprocessing tools, your models, they all come in and can be used with little or no modification. Think about extending the traditional 2D workflows uh, that you do every day with 3D, bringing your building footprints to life in 3D with 3D symbology, being able to edit in 2D and 3D, being able to visually do QA, QC in 3D after you make that 2D edit. I mean, these are some amazing things that we've never really had in a single piece of software before. Powerful analysis. The geoprocessing tools that you use every day, they're there in Pro. We continue to advance the science of geography with new geoprocessing tools, and we've got nearly a thousand of them now for you to use, both uh, uh, in desktop and in Pro. The extensions that you're uh, using daily, network, geostatistical, spatial, data interop, they're all available in Pro as well. And also Pro is extensible, so if you want to automate the application, Python is a great environment to do that in. If you want to uh, extend the application's UI, uh, you can do that with a familiar add-in model. We've got a great new API and a great SDK that we're working on um, that's got tightly integrated into Visual Studio to really allow you to build and extend the application, customizing it in the ways that you need. And finally, you know, Pro supports the platform, publishing uh, web maps, publishing uh, 3D web scenes, you know, really powering information within the ArcGIS platform and your organization. ArcGIS Pro is part of the ArcGIS for Desktop family. It's a new application, but it's part of that family. We're really excited to see what you're going to do with Pro and provide us feedback so we can prioritize um, the new things that we're building for you to make the application great long term. Thanks a lot for your time.